What do you get when you pair super fruits with an Hamilton Beach ice cream maker? Stay tuned. Welcome back guys. So this is the revised edition of the Avocado Sour Sup Banana Ice Cream. This time we're making it in our Hamilton Beach ice cream maker. I've already assembled all my ingredients, my super fruits, avocado, sour sup bananas, including my milk, coconut milk, sweetened condensed milk, some flavorings, and of course, my whipping cream. I also have my osterizer on hand to blend all the ingredients together to make the ice cream making process a whole lot easier. So we kick things off by first adding our strained soursop pulp. This makes the blending process a whole lot smoother. Then we add our superfoods, avocado and our bananas and that brings all the creamy goodness together. We then add some lime juice to prevent the discoloration of the avocados. And some vanilla essence to bring some flavorings. Note well, you can add any flavorings you want. You then whisk up all of this together in your blender until smooth and then add all your milks. If you want to make this a non-dairy option, you have the option of using coconut milk and oat milk. Blend everything together and then you're ready and all set to put it into your ice cream maker. Now, I was able to get my ice cream maker on Amazon and it made the ice cream making process so much easier and went a whole lot smoother. And if you're interested in the link, it's right down below in the description. Now it's time to pop your ice cream mixture into the canister in order to start the ice cream making process. Simply follow the instructions on your ice cream maker and you're all ready to go. Now this recipe gave me the exact quantity that fits into the ice cream maker which was four quarts and if you're interested in getting the exact recipe let me know in the comments down below and I will send you the link where you can access it. Now I had such a hard time when I was unboxing this ice cream maker thinking it was going to be a real hassle to use but on the contrary after reading the instructions it was super duper easy to follow and all went well. I had no issues using this ice cream maker at all. So if you're looking for an ice cream maker for yourself or for someone this is definitely a steal of a deal and I think it's on a discount on Amazon if you're looking for a sweet deal. So now that the lid is all locked in and ready to go, all you simply have to do now is to plug it in and allow it to run for about two minutes before adding the ice and salt. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention that you have to put the container or the ice cream bucket into a sink somewhere where the water can drain out in the event that any excess water overflows. We don't want any mishaps taking place in your kitchen now, do we? Now that the unit is all plugged in, this is where you allow it to run for two minutes before adding the ice and the salt. Now for making this amount of ice cream, I needed to accumulate 8 to 12 pounds of ice. I have been cooking ice for like for an entire week just so that I would have enough <laughs> to make this ice cream but it was definitely worth it in the end. So to start with you just put enough ice to fill up like two inches of the bucket and then you just simply add the salt around it to cover that amount of ice and then afterwards you just simply alternate between ice and salt until it's all filled up to the brim. I was in a quandary trying to find rock salt, but table salt worked just fine for this purpose. Now at this stage, you can simply top it up the ice with some more salt just to cover the ice so that it stays, yeah, it retains the coolness a lot longer. 
and then once you've done that you simply get some pieces of old newspaper or even pieces of cloth just to clog up that space so that the coolness stays within and that's pretty much it you just allow the unit to do what it has to do and after 40 minutes you're ready to unlock the lid and view that all natural creamy smooth yeah i'm going off a little bit too much now am i i'll just let the ice cream speak for itself ah! oh, and there you have it guys avocado sour sup banana ice cream oh how tasty it was now this is the soft serve edition if you want to harden the ice cream some more, just pop it into the freezer.